News 4 has confirmed the FBI is looking into a Metro East officer's use of force. This pertains to a Washington Park teen with autism who was punched and tased. News 4's Dion Braxton is hearing from the family of that teen who wants accountability. Yeah, punch me and punch me and strap me down to the bed. Larry Shaw's face is healed now, but this is what the 19-year-old looked like on March 19th after a brush with a Washington Park police officer. I had to have somebody to talk to. Shaw's family says he frequently calls police when he has an outburst. Shaw's stepfather, David Johnson, says police and medics will sometimes calm down his disabled stepson. But on March 19th, Johnson's wife called him. Who's fighting? Said Larry and the police. And when he got home, he says he was shocked how quickly the situation escalated with the responding officer, who he says the family is familiar with. All of a sudden, he pulled his taser out and tased my son while he was restrained on the gurney. So this is the officer. So this kid calls the cops all the time. So they use the cops as a service to come in. Yeah, yeah wasting they're... like millions of dollars. <laughs> using the, using cops. the cops as mental health evaluators. Right. You know, a son man who's terrified of the police. He's autistic. He's special needs. Yeah, but he's still calling the cops and he's still big. Like he's a, he's still like this guy is still a, a force. Like those special needs people are stronger than the average person, man. I don't know why that is. But they're all they don't have stronger. restraint. They don't. Hell yeah, my cousin. I got a cousin like that. Strong yeah. here. They can't control their muscles or something. They're strong, man. So like, it's it's, it's, it's and they, and they don't have good judgment either. So you cop, you're dealing with somebody with terrible judgment who just will escalate and escalate. Shaw's stepfather, David Johnson, says police and medics will sometimes calm down his disabled stepson. But on March 19th, Johnson's wife called him. Who's fighting? Said Larry and the police. And when he got home, he says he was shocked how quickly the situation escalated with the responding officer, who he says the family is familiar with. All of a sudden, he pulled his taser out and tased my son while he was restrained on the gurney. And oh, big gip looking ass <laughs> Yeah, he's a rough looking he's son, out, man. Taste my son uh, while he was restrained on the gurney and gave him a couple of punches. Officials with the Washington Park Police Department say they have responded to Shaw's home on numerous occasions and he's known to get violent, but they won't say no more than that. News 4 confirms Illinois State Police and the FBI are investigating. Oh, wow. He really is swollen. Deborah Moss has spent decades working with youth and individuals so with are disabilities. You. Yeah, in the she's not the only one. The more... <laughs> she, she ain't missing no gas station meals. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> Police and the FBI are investigating. Oh, wow. He really is swollen. Deborah Moss has spent decades working with youth and individuals with disabilities in the metro. The more that officer tries to take control of the scene, the more the person with autism may very well try to maintain control on their end. Shaw's family says only one officer came last month. They say normally multiple officers come. There might really be a need. Yeah, because you asked to defund them all, so now they can't yeah, respond to, to your that. beck and call. I'm about to say that y'all defunding them, now y'all saying that they can't, like, what the? Oh my God! Look how many resources this one autistic kid, who you might not never see if you live in this city, because he's probably always in the house. This one kid is soaking up millions of dollars of resources every year from white people who pay taxes, and some people we running around can't wait for tax time. <laughs> if we take a trip to Jamaica, we doing every tax time come around. We we get back ten thousand, eight thousand dollars. I mean, if, if that was your child, I don't know. I'm not gonna judge well, his child. He handicapped. So, He's special. I, no. They said they said only one officer came last month. Maybe they need to send that uh, that former police officer from Leesburg, Ten Le Leesburg, Tennessee, or whatever it was, down there, so she can get them going. You know. I don't know what you're talking about. The one that uh, had, 
you know, most of the, the police force fired because she was uh, in a, oh. like a five way with them. <laughs> oh, this, yeah, this son, man, he 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 screwed brains out, man. I bet the retarded dudes and yeah, they probably right. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> stop it! Your brain shields ain't here yet. Stop it! <laughs> now the reason I'm saying I'm not I, I'm not saying that I I fault this guy for calling the police all this time. He doesn't know any better. What I'm saying is it still is what's happening. So like yes, he's 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 autistic and he doesn't understand reality like that blah 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 but this is one home in this city that's requiring all of this shit and now because of his constant calls them constantly responding them constantly being able to calm him down the one time they couldn't calm him down now the FBI is investigating the same <laughs> That's just crazy, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ, so man. you have to think about it like that, Brown. So what do you think about that? I mean, yeah, I see what you're coming from, but if he was restrained, the police still whoop him. He still wasn't around. Mm-hmm. That's their story. That's what they're saying. That's their side of the story. Who knows if he was really restrained when they? He, they must know he got you know the police carry around the camera now. Yeah, yeah. Said, I see the body. Yeah, the body cam. And it says only one cop that came this time. Yeah, one First cop. So, he, so that one cop had his hands. But well, usually, it's the whole force. It's probably like fucking multiple cars out there. Shit, big scene. <laughs> this one cop shows up, and this fucking son man probably strong as an ox, man. One officer came <laughs> but, last month. Hey, they say normally we, multiple uh, officers come. Ock, we we found out restrained means that you're holding their arms as they're, you're trying to cuff them. You know. Uh, that, that 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 was how the Scorpion Squad got nixed, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it restraint is a is a morph, it's a fluid term, man. The sure came last month. They say normally multiple officers come. There might really be a need in this home to have some type of a social worker sit down with the, with the police department with with the family and come up with a crisis um, evaluation program. Officials with Washington. See, and, and, and Africans, we would have a different view. We'd be like, yo, this dude, too, he more trouble than his work. Mm, nah, get the tire. Yeah, nah, they would just stand, take him out in the woods and let nature take care of it, man. They would, man. They they, they, they just expose you. Let, let exposure get him. This is a lot of trouble, man. But because gliders pay so much taxes, the, the resources are endless with the family and come up with a crisis um, evaluation program. Officials with Washington Park confirmed to News 4 that police officers undergo de-escalation training. As for Larry Shaw and his family, they want accountability. If he did that to my son, who else he's out here doing that to? That police should be went up and lose his job because that really hopes me and my- Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Damn, the mammy's coming out. Jesus Christ, man! These cops respond. Who, who just said it? You know who said it? Listen, I'm, I'm trying not to curse you out on this live stream. Go ahead. No, nah. you know it's there. Yeah, man. Do you, do you, um, now, 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 Brown Sugar, do you have a son that's troubled or anything like that, or a son that may be like um, a problem in some kind of way with the law? Hell no. Nah. I got a 14 year old. So yeah. you have a 14 year old. Yeah, that doesn't really. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't really. Uh-huh. Anyway, now my son is a good child. Um, he play. Uh, he is track now. He play basketball, football. Mm-hmm. Uh, very smart, making really good grades, popular, mm-hmm. he's a good kid. So, no, he's okay. not in trouble with the law. Mm-mm. Okay, because you, you got a soft spot for these, these this, this trouble guy. This guy's caused a lot of fucking trouble, man. He's special needs. Yeah, but it's not like he's just like throwing snack packs at the wall. This fucker is. That's like, his, pa- his parents. Him. That's because his parents. They don't. They probably don't know what to do with him. They need help. He needs help. 
my family. In Washington Park, Dion Broxton, News 4. We have also confirmed that officer right. is on administrative leave without pay while the investigation involving Larry Shaw plays out. News 4 is choosing not to name the officer because he hasn't been charged or disciplined in this matter. Jesus Christ, man. <sighs>